Hello Artsies, this is Mrs. B. Welcome to my Arting Penmanship. For today's video, we will be doing a lettering in a heart like this. For our materials today, we will be using Baohong watercolor paper. This is in 300 GSM. This is 100% cotton paper. The size of my paper is 7 by 4.9 inches. I have also two jars of water. I will be also using graphic gum or masking fluid. For my paints, these are from my Mongya watercolor pan set. This I have here copper, rose matter, and crimson lake. For the brushes, I will be using Kolinsky Sable brushes. These, the sizes of my brushes are size 12, size 2. I will also use the Chinese brush, um, Ochi Chinese brush for my graphic gun. I will also use a pencil and eraser and also some tissue. So, let's start. Okay, in my paper, I already sketched here. We love because he first loved us. This is from the verse. 1st John 4 verse 19 so this is what I'm going to do so I will have my color here and then we are going to watercolor also the letters here so this is not actually calligraphy but I did lettering lettering is different from calligraphy just to let you know that calligraphy means the art of writing letters and lettering means drawing letters so what we are going to do next is we are going to mask this to cover and protect our letters here so we will be carefully covering the heart okay for using masking fluid i suggest do not use your precious brushes because it will actually ruin your brush and after this writing up, we will let it dry. Right now, the mask and fluid is dry and I prepared also the colors that I am going to use here. So what I'm going to do is a wet on wet technique. I will wet the rest of the sides, I mean the sides of the heart here. So using the clean water that I have here, I will wet everything with water. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let on red and make sure that it's not partly. It's shiny and that's a good wet on that's a good amount of water. Alright, it's not shiny but it's I mean it's not partly, but it's shiny. So my paper is actually in block, so if we are not using a watercolor paper that is not in block, I suggest that you put tape on the sides of your paper so that it won't buckle because my paper is in block like it's glued all on the sides like that so it stretch it out and I don't need to worry about buckling of the paper when it's wet on wet so that's a tip if you are not using block paper like this all right so it's all wet I think I'll let you just see on the on some areas that are not shiny okay so I will drop the colors I will drop first the crimson lake I will put crimson lake mostly on the sides of the heart it should be darker because we are going to put letters in the heart so I'll put crimson lake and drop down some of the colors everywhere. Alright. 
And I will also put in the rose matter and some areas also on the areas that are white. But there's no colors yet and let the colors blend. So that's what I'm doing. I will also add things that make more also. Okay. You can use any colors that you have if you didn't have rose matter and crimson lake. I suggest to experiment with the colors, but of course, if you are using two or more colors, make sure that the colors that you are using are will be sitting on each other, sitting beside on the color wheel, or it should be in just one family of colors. Like these are in the red family, so I don't have to worry about blending the colors because you know, it will blend nicely. I'm going to get Crimson Lake and add more of it. I'm putting on the side so the masking fluid actually will help you to protect whatever you put on mask. Okay, there. So just finishing it up and then you can add more different colors also, like you can add blues or you can make it greens, blue and green, yellow and orange. You can do that, yellow and red, you can also do that. Okay, so that's it. And then I will just let this dry and later on I will remove the masking, throw it there and we're going to fill out the ring this the watercolor here. Now the paint is dry, I will be removing the masking fluid. You can remove the masking fluid using a razor or if you have cement pick up, you can also do that. Or you can just remove it simply with your hands, like what I'm doing. I'm doing the letters again because it looks like the letters are gone with the graphicum and also I use a 3H pencil so it's very very light and it's hard to see the letters now. Now I'm doing the letters with watercolor. I'm using copper from my Mungyo professional pen set. I like this because it adds glitter and shine to my artwork. Okay, so I finished doing the lettering for this heart, but it's not yet finished. I would like to add some details like little dots and some small hearts in the, inside that. So I will get some of the Crimson Lake and then I will add a little more like small hearts. I'm just using the tip of my brush to make small hearts like that and then I will add more details like dots in different color I might use a pen or you could also use different line pens for lining or, some, or something like that you can use different colors I prefer copper for text because I, because I really use the metallic accents in my watercolor but 
I like it also in doing the text, especially if I am making calligraphy for names. I do that. Aside from it's, I rarely use it. It's also good way to add more glitters and sparkles to my artwork. That's why I like using the copper. I like also using the gold. All right. So you can see some of the hearts are in light shade and some are in darker shade so you can make darker you can make it lighter it's up to you how you would like to make your hearts you can um, make you can paint the hearts in different ways how you'd like to do it but what i like is just doing the tip of my brush Now I have this fabric castle pit artist pens. This is in sepia and this is size small 0.3. Alright, what I will do is that I will make lines. Okay, one moment. Let me just put it upside down because some of the things here are still wet, so I would like to avoid that. Okay. Let me do it again upside down. Then I make um, some lines. I won't be doing on all of the letters or around it. Okay. I'm adding tiny dots to my artwork and scattering it just to make sure to fill in all of the white spaces or the gaps in this artwork. This is my artwork for today and I hope you like it. You could also watch my other videos here. Till next time, bye!